happen. Hello, everybody. We're here with Nova again. Stop it. I just gave her carrots, so she's one more. Hey, knock it off. Come on. Um, we just did some exercises to strengthen the back vertebrae and neck vertebrae. And uh, basically, you just like take a treat that they really want. And I was able to do it alone, but um, when I was reading up on it, they recommended somebody hold the body. So what you do is you bring the treat far out. They have to really reach for it, and then you do it on both sides, and then you can do it down by the chest. And if you're really brave, you can get them to touch their chin to their chest, and then maybe even like go around the legs and stuff, but I didn't have enough carrots for that. Anyway, we're talking about, it's getting colder out. Nova's starting to get her, oh, I should put some stuff on that. Starting to get her, uh, her coat, uh, her summer coat starting to shed and then she's gonna start getting all dark and fluffy. So we're already kind of fluffy today. That could be the rain, could be the cold, but she's gonna lose all that white. Most likely. I mean, this is her third, second, third winter. Her third winter. So, um, so far she's never had any white on her in winter. So she'll probably, would you knock it off? She'll probably uh, turn all, all dark and brown. They, uh, horses tend to go darker in winter anyway to absorb the, the light. So anyway. So we were, I was uh, wanting to talk about uh, like the, f the fur keeps the, the body warm. They basically have something similar to um, like, a, like a double coated dog has where it, um, it's designed in such a way where it can keep them cool but also keep them warm. So they don't, it regulates their body temperature pr almost perfectly. And um, I remember when I, which, what did you do? I don't remember which winter it was. It might have been last winter when we had the um, polar vortex and I was getting worried about um, frostbite and like the legs and the ears and stuff. So basically we don't have to worry too much about their legs because their legs are basically just bone and, and like tendon and like tissue and stuff. So um, it has very little circulation. So there's not a whole lot of threat of frostbite. Um, whereas I've seen frostbite in um, the ears of horses, not that often. I think I saw it once online. <laughs> so the ears tend to have the same similar kind of circulation as, uh, as the legs. So there's not a whole lot to worry about in that regard. Um, so really, and like uh, their nose is the same way too. I think she's just itching herself, but she's being real aggressive about it. Anyway. Are you itchy? Do you want to run free? I don't eat the phone. I don't have any more treats. So the nose is, I mean, it feels like it's mostly fatty, but it's really just tissue and cartilage. So um, there's not a whole lot of threat for frostbite on the nose either, despite sometimes them feeling quite warm and, and all that. And um, so really just the core body temperature is what you have to worry about in winter and Really, you don't have to worry about it until it gets like to the deep negatives and that's when you can throw the blanket on. I mean, that's when I do it. You can do it whenever you want, but 40, 50 degree heat, not heat, 40 and 50 degrees outside, I uh, really wouldn't put a bl blanket on because um, they're gonna sweat and then the sweat is gonna freeze and then that's more threatening. threatening. So really the horse is designed already to be able to handle extreme temperatures, both cold and hot. So being obsessive about blanketing your horse is not, uh, not something I would really want anybody to do. You want me to take that off? Here. Well, it's on real loose anyway. I couldn't see it was pitch black outside because everything's changing, seasons. One more. There you go. Oops, I had the camera covered. My bad. There she is, all naked and purty. That would be a good picture. Oops, I could have taken that, oh well. Anyway, <laughs> I wanted to talk a little bit about circulation and, and the fur. Um, and um, I know there, there are a lot of people who 
really worry about they want to keep their horses in stalls all the time and want to throw blankets on them all the time. I remember I went to a barn once, really, really crappy place. All the horses there have something wrong with them. So I was going through the stalls. It was back before I got her. I was looking for a place to, to board. So I was going through their, their barns and the rows of stalls. There were horses in there, geldings, I believe who were screaming and crying all the time. They were in their stall 24 seven with blankets on, not fly sheets, blankets. Yeah, and I was just like this, I am so, it's, I just no words, just awful. Those poor guys never come out, their owners never come see them. So they're in their stalls 24 seven, 365 days a year and it's just, ridiculous i will never stall her unless um unless there's a like a medical reason like she just was under anesthesia or uh she's old and sick or something but or like maybe even colicking but normally i would not hi pretty girl hi yes you're a pretty girl you and your face is all fluffy and soft she's kind of itchy I think she might have, um, she's getting some, some patchy parts. I'm wondering if she's getting, uh, bacteria or something. Hi, pretty girl. Look how fluffy your face is. Oop. She saw a star. <laughs> so she's, um, she's preparing for winter. She's already kind of putting on some weight too. Aren't ya? <laughs> I took a picture of that. I don't know if it turned out okay, but I'll check later. Uh, so she's covered in mud. Woo! And her mane wants to... <laughs> it's so weird. Her mane is doing its own thing, but now she's kind of like... It's kind of like switching sides on me. Like, I don't care that much, but I'd prefer it all to be on one side. So that it doesn't... Hi. She doesn't have enough main hair for her to, to do it both sides. Would you stop trying to eat my watch? God, you're so weird. Anyway, let's see if she falls. Oh, she's yawning. She's just messing with um, Gambler, who keeps sticking his head out over here. He's a big uh, gelding. He's got some issues, which is why he looks underweight, but she's still yawning. There she goes. She's trying to be submissive. She's still only two, so it's not that unusual that she would do this. She, it would be pretty unusual if she started clacking her teeth. So both of those ways are how a younger horse submits to an older horse. They're just saying, hey, um, hey, don't mess with me. I'm just a baby. I'm sorry. I didn't know any better. That kind of thing. So she's been yawning while she's over here. Hi, pretty girl. Hi, pretty girl. <laughs> Got a glimpse of her teeth there. Anyway, so, yeah, that's just a quick, oh, she's yawning again. There we go. The, so horses don't yawn too much, like, in that sequential order if they're, like, tired or something. They usually just go to sleep. <laughs> so she's being submissive. I wonder if he's even watching her. Is he even watching you? Is he even watching? I don't see him. Where is he? I see part of him. He's eating, babe. He's not even paying attention to you. What are you doing? I have a vest on. You're being weird. And little Star was, she was just laying down a little bit ago and then I gave her a carrot and then she got up. Whoops. And now she's eating. Would you stop? It's okay. She's being weird today. I didn't get to see her last week, so. being a little more affectionate than usual. Oh, she's gonna follow me now. Um, okay, so that's all I wanted to talk about really. I might not make her run today. She's, maybe I will. Did, did you hear me say run? Do you wanna run? You look so silly. <laughs> I wonder if I should dress her up for Halloween. <laughs> 
So what's going to happen is she'll start getting thicker and thicker and the red will start turning a little bit more brown. And then um, she'll get like a patch, like just a smaller patch of white right here. And eventually that will disappear and then she'll be totally dark brown, like a reddish bay color. Okay, maybe we'll run just a little, okay? And then I'll put you back. Yeah, alrighty.